So we have some new things we can do now. For one, we talked to Antonio. Oh, what am I going to do? With the quarry closed, I can't get any of the Reval ore I need. At this rate, I'm going to be in so much debt when I get back to Rome, it's not even funny. Ah, hey, if you have any Reval ore to spare, could you be willing to sell it to me? If you can get the amount I need, I'd love to buy it from you. What do you think? Sound like a good deal? Can I get you to bring me ten Reval? And I think... Oh, I think that one place I didn't jump across in the mine might have that ten Reval I need to get. Definitely intriguing. Sister Nell, I'm worried. If only I could have stopped Father Pierre. Hmm. After I talk to Elena, I'll have to check on the church. As if I didn't already know that. Chester. Adel. I'm sorry. I've just got a lot in my mind. My brother gave me this pendant. He left it here with a letter on the day he left. I guess it makes me feel closer to him when I wear it. But I guess he was closer than I realized. I'm sorry, Adel. I'd heard such horrible things being said about my brother. And then to hear the man who raised me confirm it all. I just have to wonder. What in the world could he have done? But I guess I'm being selfish. I'm really just happy to know he's alive. It's like a weight I've been carrying for the last six months has just vanished. I didn't I don't know what's going through his mind yet, but I know that if I can just talk to him, things can go back to the way they were. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. But thank you for caring, Otto. So what Father Pierre said was true. He'd mentioned that he caught sight of a man who looked like my brother in front of the ruins to the northeast. When I heard that I went to see if I could find him. Why would he want to go to such, such a creepy place though? Those ruins to the northeast are called the Ilburns Ruins. It's at the foot of a dormant volcano, so the plants around it there are completely different from everywhere else. It's really weird. I wonder why Chester would go somewhere like that. <laughs> I wonder indeed. But it's time to see why Sister Nell was worried. Which we can find out by paying a visit and meeting one of the last characters of Redmond. Man in priest robes. Hmm, this has become very serious. Why would Father Pierre go to such a place? Please forgive me. If only I could have stopped him. I wonder what this is all about. Talk to Nell. Have you seen Father Pierre by any chance? I see. What should we do? Oh, that blazing red hair. You must be Otto. There are many rumors flying around about you. The name is Nicholas. I am the head of the Volgana Diocese. I was head of the church here until three years ago, but now Father Pierre holds that position. Well, I'm in charge of the church's chapel. I still like to stop by from time to time, though. Particularly since I heard that Father Pierre went to such a dreadful place. Hmm? Are you familiar with the Ilburn's ruins to the northeast of here? The ruins are the remnants of a temple of some pagan religion, now controlled by the church. It would seem that Father Pierre decided to go there by himself. It sits at the foot of a dormant volcano, which has recently been showing signs of renewed activity. I've heard rumors that the place is infested with monsters of all shapes and sizes. I see. Well, something must be done quickly, then. Ah! Ah, yes, Otto. I've been told that you're the one who rescued Mayor Edgar from the quarry. Is this true? Given your considerable skill, may I ask you to find Father Pierre? Of course! Ah, I'm grateful for your courage. Here, you should take this. The ruins key is ours. The Ilburn's ruins are just off the road to the northeast of here. You can use this key to open the gate and gain entrance. I'm counting on you to find Father Pierre. May God go with you. Fight well. You can reach the Ilburn's ruins by going out on the road and heading northeast. Those ruins are ancient, so I don't know exactly what awaits you there, but as Nell said, there are rumors of monsters. Please make your preparations and bring our priest back safely. There are many stories about the Ilburn's ruins. None of the clergy have entered there. What business could he have in going to such a place? Well, he's got some business, all right. Definitely has some business. Let's talk to everyone else around town. <laughs> I guess I was wrong about you, mister. You really saved the mayor. You must be really strong. He's not here now, but Chester was strong, too. You gotta tell me about how you beat the monsters sometime. Promise me, Mr. Ottle. Why should I have to play hide-and-seek with Anya? I'm practically grown up already. Yeah, you keep up thinking that little squirt. It's cute, though. You actually went into the mines by yourself to help the mayor? <laughs> wow, it's like you're some kind of mythical hero out of a storybook. I hope my son will one day be as brave as you. He's much too fond of playing jokes on people. It can be so trying sometimes. She actually gives you a reward in the PSP version, but it's not really necessary. Oh, Otto, may I see that bracelet for a moment? I consider myself somewhat something of an expert when it comes to old curios and jewelry. Otto, let Cynthia hold the bracelet. Aha, I knew it. This bracelet holds some kind of power of the spirits. 
Did you fit it with this little gemstone yourself? Oh, I see. It helps increase the bracelet's power. Well, thank you very much. That's very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. So let's see what we can buy. Yeah, large shield's kind of expensive. Can't afford that. But, let's see here. Longsword. Oops, would help if I pressed the right button, wouldn't it? Hmm, a little short. Just a little bit short. Grr. Well, let's equip our new weapon. This is the re reason you don't want to upgrade anything too much. This is a small sword for beginners, not recommended for serious combat. This is a long sword. A long-bladed steel sword, favored by many swordsmen. Look at the difference. Yeah. Not really a whole lot of reason to upgrade this when this is right there. So as long as you keep going through the game at a reasonable pace, unless you're having a hard time, not really a whole lot of point in upgrading your gear. We can't play outside, so me and Hugo are playing hide-and-seek. He's it, so I thought this would be a good hiding place. Look, you can see something shiny at the bottom. What is that? Otto scooped up the shiny object from the bottom of the well. Three Reval obtained. Wow, mister, you got the shinies? I want to see. Otto said that it was Reval ore. Aw, I was hoping it'd be diamonds or something. But that was nice of you, mister. Thanks. You know, Chester was always really nice to me, too. He'd always play with me and Elena, and he even took me outside sometimes. He taught me how to fish, too, and that was lots of fun. He's not here anymore, though. He went somewhere far away to work. <sighs> I wonder if he's ever going to come back. You know, then she just says the same thing over and over again. I actually didn't ever get that before. Don't want to talk to Ada yet, because she's still sad. And we're missing two revolve to be able to get the boost and money. I didn't know how we would have ever managed without you, Otto. If the mayor weren't so devoted to protecting us from McGuire's rulership, life would be a lot harder than it is. Closing the quarry was a hard thing to do, but as long as we have him, things will work out. Lots of bad things happen in the quarry these days. Not too long ago, we had an incident with a bridge collapsing. One of our apprentice miners died in that one. Bob was his name. I can't even bear to think about it or else I might start crying again. And yeah, they just say the same thing over and over again. Well, I'm sure you know that the quarry is nothing but a huge monster fest nowadays. It's too dangerous, so we consulted with the mayor about closing it down for a while. We don't know when things will be settled, so the entire town's on alert. Not the quarry, we're going to have a hard time getting food. I guess the Count ordered it to be closed, but does he realize what that's going to do to us? Damn it! None of us can figure it out. Shutting down the quarry is completely ridiculous. The quarry is the lifeblood of this town, and our work has been the pride of generations of miners. Besides, what the hell is Dewey doing? Who are you? Are you the swordsman who helped my son? Sorry, I'm just a bit distracted. And ever since it was closed, the Count and his men have been in and out of here constantly. I can't stand this. That place is very important to us. If you listen, it sounds like the monsters down there have been wiped out. Take this with you. Seven Revolver was obtained. This game really does reward going around and talking to everyone. I hope my son, son will have as much backbone as you do someday. Before all this happened, the whole town would be get excited whenever we found a new vein to dig, and we get merchants from all over. I can say without exaggerating too much that we miners kept this town alive. The quarry can't stay closed. So, here's a reason for being kind of PO'd. I mean... The mine got closed down, there's monsters, his lifeblood... Uh, things just are not going really well here. The mayor's always made sure we've done well for ourselves, but now we can't do any more mining because of the monsters. I wish the Count would rethink his order to shut down the quarry, not to mention the high taxes. If we can't resume mining soon, our entire local economy is going to collapse. If this goes on too long, we're going to have to look into other means of supporting the town. We can't res- yeah, and he just says that over again. Which is true, and it might not be a bad idea to have a backup plan just in case anyway. But, we have one other thing we can do before we leave, which is sure to give us a little bit of an equipment boost. Give Revolo ore. Oh, it looks like you found some Revolo ore. Will you sell 10 Revol to me for 500 gold? Yes. Alright, the deal is done. Here's your 500 gold. Otto received 500 gold. If you have any spare Revolo ore in the future, I'll buy it from you. And next will be, hmm, all I could buy right now would have to be exactly 50 Revol. Miss Cynthia tells me that this land is supposed to be full of treasure. For instance, there's supposed to be some device that can harness the heat of lava. If I were able to sell that to a noble, I could turn a tidy profit. The PSP version, what he says, is it allows you to walk in lava. Hmm. Volcano. Lava. It burns ruins. I sense connections. And so should you. So let's go over to Cynthia. Buy weapons and armor. And... Chainmail. There we go. No way we can afford that large shield. 
it's just way out of the price range of everything else here that we can't afford. But that's fine. Let's equip the chainmail. Before we had leather armor, basic armor made of animal skin, heavily fa favored by travelers. Now we have chainmail. Chainmail reinforced by metal plates. A necessity when fighting monsters. Not a bad little upgrade, I'd have to say. So, that said, we've been able to clear out the first dungeon. Talk to Gardener. Hello, Otto. Nice work in bringing everyone home safely. I don't know how you did it, but you really saved the day. By the way, Father Pierre left town a little while ago and hasn't come back yet. I suppose it comes as no surprise, but I'm kind of worried. Other information. The northeast is a place called the Ilburn's Ruins. It's apparently been there for centuries, but who knows what it was built for. I thought that might pique your curiosity, but unfortunately it's controlled by the church. No, but the clergy are allowed inside. So, well, as I was saying, we've cleared out the first dungeon, we've leveled up some, we've gotten some new equipment, and we've made quite a huge dent in getting through the game, at least as far as some special stuff has gone, such as there are four slots down here, and we now have the Moonstar Statue, a statue which was found in the quarry, said to hold unlimited power. And it looks like Elfail. We also got the Ruins Key, key inscribed with the Holy Crest, can be used to unlock the gate in front of the ruins. But, for now, I think this is actually a really good spot for us to save. So we'll just talk to the little monument here, and we'll save outside of Redmont. So, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you'll join me next time, I hope you have yourself an absolutely wonderful day, and we'll see you soon.